Hey everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's totally free and a great way to support my channel. All you have to do is hit that big red subscribe button down below. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a large wall decal. These are super fun to do and you can really accentuate yourself in a space and the best part is they're removable so it's really fun. You can change them out. They're great for rentals, dorm rooms, even your home, just because you can change them out whenever you decide to change up your style. All you'll need is some sort of craft cutting machine, whether it be a Cricut or a Silhouette, and then you'll need some removable vinyl. I used Oracle 631, which comes in a ton of great colors, and they're matte, so it's really, really easy to use. These are a lot of fun to work with, and we are gonna make a really cute, trendy decal. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Over in Design Space, all I did was just upload a Flower Burst SVG, and I made it a bunch of different sizes and a couple different colors, and then just sort of laid it out to get an idea of how I want to lay it out on my wall. And with this one, I want to make sure that my largest piece is no more than 11 and a half inches. That way I don't have to try to piece it together and slice it apart. That just seems kind of annoying, and I don't want to have to do that. So my largest flower is this blue one right here. And so I made the largest side of it 11.5. You can see this one is under it and everything else is pretty small. Now we're gonna cut this on a removable vinyl because we are gonna put this on our wall. So I don't wanna connect anything. I'm just gonna piece it together on my wall. I think it should be fine. Shouldn't be a big deal at all. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and click on make it and it's going to break it down into 12 by 12 sheets, which is great. If you have 12 by 12 sheets, you can totally do that if that's what you want to do. I have 12 by 24 rolls, so I'm going to switch both of my designs over to the 12 by 24 and it should fit them all on one. Now this one's being a little bit funky and I almost wonder if I accidentally have something attached. So if you have something like this where it's like giving you this huge space in between, go back to your make it screen and just see if anything is attached. Nothing seems to be attached. So it could just be design space being a little bit funny, which happens from time to time. Just click make it again and we'll see if it will fix itself because a lot of times it does and it looks like it did, but we'll just double check. So then we'll just change this one down here to 12 by 24. And as you can see, it was just a glitch in design space. Nothing was connected. A lot of times if it does something funny like that, if you just go back a step and redo it, it usually will fix itself. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and click continue. And for this product, you want to go into Browse All Materials, and what you're going to look for on this is the custom setting for vinyl mat. So what I'm going to look up is just the word vinyl, Oops. and we're going to see what, it helps if you spell it right, <laughs> we're going to see what our options are here, because some stuff has changed a little bit, so I just want to make sure that I'm going to find exactly what I want, because it's not a premium vinyl. So it is gonna be right here under matte vinyl. Go ahead and click done, and it is going to tell us that we are ready to load our matte. Now, the colors are broken down. We have a mint and a purple. I'm actually gonna cut these with mint and gray because I have my whole room done in mints and grays. So we're just gonna go ahead and get our long matte loaded, and then I'll let you guys see it cutting it all out. I've got my extra long matte, and what I do is I stick it under the machine so just a little bit of it is sticking out. And we're gonna get our 631. And again, we're gonna start with our mint color. And what I do is I hang it over the machine and I take my extra long mat and I line up the top of my vinyl with the top of my mat. And then you're just gonna roll your mat kind of back a little bit. And just like that, your vinyl is on your extra long mat. Now you do wanna make sure you spread, you kind of Press it down, make sure any of the wrinkles that you might have gotten in there are out. And then you can simply load your extra long mat right into your machine. And we are gonna go ahead and hit the go button. I'm gonna let you guys watch this cut.
next step is to cut apart your decals. You can lay them on your transfer tape um, uncut if you prefer, but for me, I like to lay them already cut out. For me, it just makes less bubbles for me, especially when working with like a long 24 inch piece, but this is all up to you and how you do it your way and how whatever works best for you. Now it's time to apply the transfer tape. I am using the medium tack from 651 vinyl, but sometimes that can be a little bit too sticky. So it's really important to find a good quality transfer tape. So what I do is I unroll it a bunch and get a nice size piece. And then I take my hands and I stick it all over the transfer tape. And sometimes I will even take a t-shirt that maybe has some cat hair and junk on it and stick it to the transfer tape as well. And then I apply my decals to it. time to place it on your wall. So we're going to use a um, squeegee and then also this awesome rubber ball from 651 Vinyl. What that does is it helps to attach your item to your wall. It makes a really nice easy way to place that vinyl on and then to burnish it down. So it's really easy to do. You want to make sure that you are taking your time with this because this can be a little bit of a delicate process. Um, you can see I'm disappearing off the screen. I'm peeling off my transfer tape from my gray and making sure it's all stuck down. Uh, I didn't burnish it. I forgot to after I applied my transfer tape. But now that I've burnished it, we are going to be able to apply this to the wall. I'll speed up the rest of these because it's pretty much the same thing over and over and over again. But this is the gray one going on the wall. And you can do these in any order that you want, any style that you want. You can be super creative. I decided to do these flower bursts because these are super popular right now and I thought they would really bring some fun life to my wall. Now what you can see that I'm doing is taking that rubber ball and rolling it all around the decal. You want to make sure that you are pressing with a good firm pressure as you roll the ball all over your decal. This part is super fun to do. These are not bouncy balls. Please do not bounce them. Don't give them to your kids. They are specifically made for this. They are a really pretty product and super handy to have. I will link the ball below because it was so helpful when I was doing this decal. Now you want to pull your transfer tape at a nice sharp angle. A couple of my pieces you'll see as I go didn't totally stick. So I had to go back and kind of push them down with my finger and things like that. My wall is just slightly textured, but this gray one worked really, really well. And you just want to go nice and slow take your time and don't get frustrated if some of them aren't sticking you can go back and burnish them down again with either your finger or the ball or even a squeegee so let's go ahead and speed this up for you guys is our finished wall art. I think it came out really, really cute and I had a really fun time making this and designing it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I linked the vinyl and the ball down below as well as a link for where I got the flower burst SVG. If you guys have any questions, again, always leave those in the comments. I get to them as soon as I can. I hope you guys had so much fun learning how to make a wall decal using removable vinyl. Have a great day and happy crafting.